There's a fish, guys. Oh, guys. The net have fallen in. Yes. He came back, friend. That was that was really good, guys. <laughs> Hello guys, today we are making black damsel nymph for a spinning rod. These are the tools I'm going to use. If you want to know how to make any of them, I leave the link in the description. We're going to use black thread in 8 odd. Put down a layer of thread, touching turns. Until about there, that's when the hook starts to bend. Forgot to say I'm using TM Kojik hook in size 10, barbless. And I have a 4mm tungsten bead. This is a marmo feather. We're going to rip out some fibers. Let's see, we're gonna roll them, roll them on the fingers. Gonna put it to, next to the hook and see if that's the tail that we want. I think that's okay. Cut the ends to make it even. Bring the thread to the bead. Tie down the marble. Bring the thread back to the front. Now see how long of a tail we want. The length of the hook. So let's see. So yeah, about there. Just rip them off with your fingers. Don't cut them. This is some copper color flash. One strand, slide it under the thread. And tie it down. This is a cord that you can buy in a, in a jewelry store. It's for making bracelets and necklaces. It is 0.6 mil in diameter. The touch and turns, we are going to tie it down. This is black synthetic dubbing, guys. I didn't make that one, I bought it in the shop. We're just going to Pull off a bit and then apply it on the thread. This is the body, and then we need this room for the thorax of the nymph. This is a Velcro and an ice cream stick. Now we're going to brush out some fibers. Yeah, now it looks buggier. Now we'll take the thread to the start of the body. This is a cassette for your boombox type radio. When I stretch the film in it, it becomes skinny like that and it forms a good leg. We will cut about three centimeters of it. So we're going to put the hook this way, fold the leg over, 
do a spin with the hook that it loops around itself and then we're going to take this tag end I don't know if you can see it and with the hook I'm gonna pull it through the loop here we go there's a little knot and when you pull it tight it forms a little joint like a like a nymph leg would have I got the two legs I'm going to put them on top and tie them down with two turns two turns and then I see how I want to position them make sure they're positioned on the sides and then three more turns two more legs put the joint of these legs where the little joints of the first legs are This is a little bit of bright orange synthetic dubbing. This one I have made out of acrylic yarn. If you want to see how I made it, I'm going to leave the link in the description to my brim fishing video with a spinning rod. There you can see how I made the dubbing from acrylic yarn. This is a little bit of synthetic leather. It looks like leather on this side and there you can see the fabric that it's synthetic. I have cut about a three mil piece of it and we're going to make it into a V shape and then attach it on the top as wing buds. Here we go. That view was not very good, so I have made a new one. So we're just going to put it on the top with the edge of the V extending just a little bit past the red thorax. Take one turn with the thread. Pull on it. Take one more. Pull on it again. And then when you're going to unravel, there we have the mark, so we know where to cut it. That way we don't end up with extra material and extra bulk at the head. And also there is no wastage. I got another V cut guys. Put it on top so the previous wing boot sticks out a little bit from under it. Take a turn. Change it down. Take one more. Then unravel. And now we know where to cut. Here we go guys, there's, there's the two wing buds. A little bit more dubbing to finish up. turns now cut the legs to size a few coats of varnish and we are ready to go guys Here we have our nymph guys, it has a long profile like a damsel would have, long tail that's going to kick and swim around, buggy body with red rib that goes well with the black and then we have the thorax with the two wing buds and legs that's going to represent a good silhouette. Nymphs are finished, let's check size and weight. Okay, it's pushing 
3.2 centimeters. Okay, it is 0 0.6 of a gram. 0 0.6. Let's put them on the box and take them out fishing. There's a fish, guys. Oh no, it's a pike again. My god. If he doesn't bite me off, I'll be lucky. Very gentle bite. Very, very gentle. Not bad. Let me see if I can unhook him. There's the nymph. There is the pike, guys. Let's let him go. There he goes. Lovely. This is makeshift lures, and I proved this damsel nymph. The swans came to see what's the commotion. And let me show you how I caught that pike. I was actually hoping for perch. So I've so I've cast it along the jetty. And then I've lowered the rod tip to the ground, to the water. And then I was I was just just slowly moving the tip and and turning the reel very very slow. That way the little nymph little streamer nymph in the water looks like a dying dying insect or a dying larvae and the pike bite I <laughs> got one guys This is makeshift lures, and I approve this nymph. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a perch, guys. It's feisty. There you go guys, lovely. Yes, he came back for it. That was, that was really good guys.
he attacked it and then he came back for it. He attacked it, got spooked and then came back. Really good. Oh, come here buddy. <laughs> Look at this guys. That's the that's the biggest perch of today. Come on. Look at that guys. He attacked it, got spooked and then came back for it. Very good. We might get another bite today. We might be lucky. Ned have fallen in. Can you imagine? That is not good, guys. Mop. That is absolutely not good. <laughs> okay, I think I hooked it. Oh no, I didn't hook the net, I hooked something else, that's unbelievable, I hooked some rope. Okay, yes, I think I have it. it seems like it's stuck or became too heavy. Come on. Ah, yeah, loads of nets. <laughs> Come on. Great success, guys. There's a perch, guys. Look at that small guy. Hopefully there's a bigger perch underneath. Whoop. Hey guys, the day have come to an end, it's time to go home. Let me do last cast. There's no bites, I'm going home. Today's been quite eventful. I, I, I got pike, perch, almost lost my net, saved it, that was a bonus. Okay, I'm feeling that I won't get any bites. You have to know when to quit. Because then I'll, if I stay fishing, I'll miss the train and I'll be stranded here until tomorrow. That's not good. Okay guys, it's been a lovely day. Happy with today. I'm gonna go home, take some rest, and then get back to the to the lure making bench and, and see what else we can make for the box.